All right, so I'm working on the next step of the building of my driver. Got to get the shaft cut to the correct length for me, and then I'm uh, going to be putting a grip on by myself as well. So here we go. Some equipment you will need for this task are <clears throat> hacksaw with a very fine blade. Um, try to get one with like the smallest teeth possible on it. This one I can pretty much run my finger on and not get cut. So uh, we just want that so it's not going to make the uh, shaft fray. Uh, we need a tape measure, masking tape, a sharpie, the length of driver that you want to compare against, and your new driver shaft as well. All right, so first, uh, we need to take off any tape or uh, excess debris that's left on the new shaft, such as this sticker here. We're going to go ahead and pull this bad boy off. Might take a minute. Oh, yeah. All right, so I have the I have a piece of tape on here so I can take uh, where my old shaft is going to be and mark that line. And I'm going to mark an inch up from that to have my new <clears throat> new cut line. So, let's see. old line is there, and then right down on the table. Measure an inch up from that. So there we go. Now I'll take another piece of tape and wrap it around all the way so that wrap it around all the way right here. So that way when I'm cutting it with the hacksaw it will not fray and <clears throat> makes little stringy pieces all over the place. Alright, so now we're at a point where we're allowed, we're able to cut it. We got a line all the way around the shaft. We're going to hold the shaft tight so it's not moving around and has a chance to snap or anything in there. So just take it easy while you're cutting. Alright, so we've completed our cut. We pulled the tape off. Pretty good smooth edge there. Um, now just kind of file it down just a little bit just to make sure it's all good get all the stuff out of the inside and then uh, we'll be ready to put a grip on for the next part